For our distance learning classes, we'll be using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So first, go to your Blackboard account. So from the college site, go to the Current Students tab. Go to CUNY Blackboard. And log in. Once you're there, find your course, which may be a long way down if you've taken a lot of courses at Brooklyn College, but you'll find it eventually. Open the course. Expand the course tab as needed. Click on Tools. And then click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And you'll need to give it a minute or so to initialize. And here's a listing of all the sessions that have been prepared. So you'll see this one says that it's in progress. And this one has a date which, as of the time that I'm recording this, is sometime in the future. Now if you click on this future session, you'll rip a hole in the space-time continuum and cause an unimaginable catastrophe. Or maybe not. The important thing is that because this session is not yet happening, you can't actually get into it. And all that repeated clicking will do is cycle between the list of the planned sessions. So check the dates carefully. This session actually says it's in progress, so if we click on it, we'll want to join the session. Again, give it a moment to initialize. Depending on network traffic, this may take a bit of time, but you'll get there eventually. You will want to enable your microphone. Go through the audio test. There's no good reason to enable your camera. It'll still ask you to do a camera check. It may ask you to start a tutorial. Don't worry about that. And this takes you into the session. So a couple important features. First, notice that the microphone and the video camera are by default muted. So if you want to say something to the class, you'll need to unmute the microphone. And now you're live. So say what you're going to say, and once you're done, you can mute your microphone again. So it's considered polite to raise your hand. And your instructor will see that you've raised your hand and be able to answer your question. Again, be sure to unmute your microphone if you're going to ask a question. And if your question is answered, you can put your hand down by clicking on it once again. Now, if you should happen to go to another window, when you re-enter the session, don't click on the session that doesn't exist yet. It gives you this screen. And what that usually means is that you actually have the session already open in another tab, so go to that tab. And continue your session from there. And eventually class is over and you'll want to leave the session. So over on the left, you can open the session window and leave the session down here at the bottom. 